Today you're going to learn how to make this. Good, is she feeling good too? For real, are we getting high? Cause this. Pelle here today from Editing Visuals, and let's start with the tutorial. So you're going to open up After Effects and make a new composition. And here you're going to start off by simply making a text. So I'm going to make a text here. Make it say matrix and here I'm going to use a matrix font I found on uh, dafont.com if you guys want to get the same font. And after you have chosen your font you're going to be changing the color of the text to a green. A lime green here, something like this, looks good. And then I'm going to increase the size of this to around 220. And uh, now I'm satisfied with the text here so I'm going to go up to align, align it so it becomes centered. And then we're going to be adding a transform effect to this text, just like that. And we're going to be keyframing the scale here, so 100 in the beginning, and then you go to the end of your animation. My animation is going to be three and a half seconds long. So uh, yeah, go to the end of your animation, and here 106 here. When you're done with that, you're going to make a solid layer here. Drag it under the text, and here we're going to be adding fractal noise. And I'm going to change the fractal type to smeary and the contrast to 500 and the brightness to minus 40. And then I'm going to open transform and here I'm going to uncheck uniform scaling. And I'm going to set the scale width to 300 and the scale height to 6000. Just like that. And to get a cool animation to this we're going to be keyframing our evolution setting here. So you're going to hold alt. And then press the clock here, type time star key 150. Now it's going to be moving over time here. And when you're done with the effect here, we're going to be duplicating the layer here by pressing Ctrl D. Drag the new layer above your text. And here go to toggle switches and modes. And then change the blending mode to stencil luma. The colors here doesn't match so well, so we're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to be adding four color gradient. And I'm going to go with the green here on all the color positions. So let's copy it and change the blending mode to color. And to get a more matrix vibe to this, we're going to be adding numbers everywhere. So you're going to make a text layer again here and just type some random numbers and try to go with some uh, default font here. Like this make the size smaller something like that maybe size 10 and from there you're going to be adding a effect called cc reptile and here go expand 3000 on the right 3000 on the left and then 1000 down and 1000 up now it's full of numbers and then you're going to change the tiling to checker flip h so now you get these kind of numbers here and after that, we're going to add motion tile to this. And here we're going to keyframe the tile center and uh, go to the ending, drag this down like that. So it's going to move all the time. And then we're going to change the blending mode here to stencil alpha. And here we're going to add a lot of glow to this layer here. So we're going to add glow, drag down the glow intensity a little bit here. Then control D, increase the radius a little bit, drag the intensity down, control D again, radius, increase it and drag down the intensity. Control D, radius up, intensity down. One last time, radius to 300, glow intensity to 0 0.1. Around there, so this is the glow we're getting. It's pretty, pretty good. And after that, we're going to be changing the blending mode of that layer to screen. And then we're going to add a new adjustment layer by pressing Control Alt Y. And here we're going to be adding grid. And the settings I'm going to be using is going to be width and height sliders on a size form and the width is going to be 5 and then the height is going to be 15 and this is just to get the like matrix kind of data look here uh, which is pretty cool and uh, then the borders is, is going to be 1 and the color should be black and then blending mode overlay and then I'm going to add another adjustment layer for alt y and here we're going to be adding vignette so it becomes a little bit more centered the glow go with 160 on the amount 40 on the angle of view and the last adjustment layer control alt y here we're going to be adding more glow when we added the grid we lost a little bit of our old glow so to get it back this is basically drag out the radius a little bit and then control d drag out the radius to 200 the glow intensity 0.7 and then control d radius to 
300 and intensity to 0.5 and a bonus version now you can make is to add uh, a effect from our tv glitch pack v2 i'm going to add it now to showcase how it's going to look so yeah this is basically how it's going to look it's pretty pretty cool in my opinion and if you guys think the same and are interested in uh, the effect feel free to check out editingvisuals.com and yeah this was basically how you made the matrix text and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe don't forget to check out our discord server our socials and uh, yeah i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day